Hello, this is Marcus with MLC CAD in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and I want to take you through the wizard to create a fluid uh, flow simulation project in SolidWorks. Now, the wizard is something that I don't normally use in other programs that I understand very well, but inside flow simulation, the wizard is very powerful, mainly because there are so many variables to keep track of. Flow simulation is a very powerful program, but by using the wizard, it really simplifies everything to just a series of questions. For this project, I'm going to call it air distribution, since the goal is to understand how the air is distributed from the inlet to the various six outlets. My unit system, uh, I'm often using a unit system that's predefined, such as inch pound seconds, but it's also quite often the case that one of the units is not going to fit well with a standard unit system. So for instance, this might be because if it's an airflow situation, I might want to use a CFM or cubic feet per minute. So for the volume flow rate, I don't want cubic inches per second, I want cubic feet per minute, CFM. Makes it easy to work in the units that are comfortable for me, and I can even create a new uh, uh, unit system for airflow that defaults to using CFM when necessary. Makes it a lot simpler to work in units that you're familiar with so you don't accidentally crash on the surface of Mars. This is an internal study, and I don't want to worry about heat conduction or radiation. I'm not worried about time dependency, gravity, or rotation, but it's very easy to turn any of these items on and then specify additional information for each of these parameters. This is all going to be a gas, so I'll simply go into my gases area and add air. If this was some kind of a mixture or I was dropping in additional things, I could just drop those in. But again, very simple, just add or address each item as it comes up and you'll be ready to roll. Uh, ambient temperatures are just going to be room temperature and room uh, uh, ambient uh, pressure, atmospheric pressure, and it's going to create a domain very quickly and easily for me. And this domain recognizes the area that's going to be inside the volume of the air, the internal volume, and it's not going to take into account anything that really isn't necessary or important to be able to handle that. So that's how you'll use the wizard inside flow simulation.